welcome to this video playing famous last words um <laughs> funny name from uh, from germany okay should i play this b6 okay let's let's do this english defense there is no name and it's a brand new account let me check this okay very new account also i've never played him yeah? okay so this e4 c4 setup is a pretty good pretty good um um way to play against um b6 bishop b7 white normally goes for um g3 here d3 or knight e2 yeah knight e2 is actually what i like most d3 is of course a playable move no question but it looks a bit passive so how to proceed um, the move bishop b4 is losing a bit in strength here simply because um he will play knight e2 a3 and gain the bishop pair without having any direct problems i know that in uh, in some games i played bishop c5 here sort of trying to provoke <laughs> provoke uh, um d4 hmm yeah how bad is this really bishop c5 can i can i do something like that it's uh, a bit cheeky this move okay let's uh, let's try that well, this this whole <coughs> whole opening c4 b6 is a bit of a anti anti c4 opening because it in a way drags uh, white players the white players out of their comfort zone. There is really a sort of breed of c4 players who really do uh, c4 e4 g3 all the time, and uh, with this b6 they uh, need to adjust a bit and um, play differently so um i'd like to play a little bit uh yeah unconventional against uh, against this opening trying to uh, yeah force them to to do things that they normally don't do okay we just went knight f3 mm, can i go knight e7 and f5 one problem could be the move a3, of course. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, well, okay. When, when I was playing bishop c5, I knew that uh, this is a bit, a bit fishy. <laughs> a3 i will probably play knight g6 and drop the bishop back in case of an attack d4 there is still bishop b4 which looks uh, i think okay the knight is um going to uh to e7 to play f5 I just got a chess chat message that he is watching the channel. Well, thanks. <laughs> let's let's see what he's doing though. Yeah, many many possible uh, things. White can also just play bishop e two and castles, but bishop e two I will play f five. I mean this. Um... Hmm. Interesting question is there if he goes a3? Okay, something entirely different. Hmm, okay. So make that doesn't make some sense to play. <coughs> sorry to play. Um, 
h6 or hmm, not sure yeah i think i should I, I can do that it's not hurting me in any way taking on e7 looks totally harmless probably is going to h4 or well maybe a positive effect of bishop g5 is of course that it makes f5 a bit more difficult to play Can I go knight c6 and knight d4 maybe? Of course he can play d4, bishop b4. very tough yeah that happens to you if you try to play unconventional openings at least it happens to me <laughs> you need to really early on um, solve some problems Yeah, d4, bishop, b4 is certainly somewhat better for white. Not sure how much better, but it's 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 better for white. Okay, so he's not um, doing anything special about knight d4. Mm, okay. Okay, I guess I'll do that trying to make some use of this bishop on c5. It opens up the long diagonal here, which is, uh, of course, at the moment, uh, nothing to write home about. It's just e4 protected by d3, but yeah, maybe f5 at some point will um, breathe some um, life into this bishop. Yeah, he can take, play knight to b5, but I can just take b2, I believe. Rook b1, bishop f6, and there is nothing special going on. Okay, so mm, does he want to play b4? Or? I, can, I think I can play castles anyway, so I'll, I'll do that. My next move will be f5 if there's nothing special happening. b4, I take f3, play bishop d4. This should be really okay. Okay, so f5, yeah. Knight a4 or something. I can always take f3 and play bishop d4. So I think um, this this is really a playable position now. I mean, before, hmm, playable it was, but probably not very comfortable. Maybe just uh, d4 for white earlier. I think this was good for a little bit of an edge. 
Maybe more, I'm not sure. White White was certainly better after D4. Yeah, what should um, he do now? I mean, he can take f5, but I will take with the rook, I believe. Suddenly getting really a burst of activity. Yeah, taking with the rook, I guess. I can also consider to take on e2 first. Well, yeah, but that's not looking great, really. Yeah, rook takes, I guess. Should be um, should be okay for me. Yeah, the only thing that's a bit um, a bit annoying is this pin, huh? bishop on h four. This pin. Okay. Yeah, this pin, I, I was thinking that queen e8 might help it. Might help it? Hmm. Might uh, help to um, to address this issue. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm really threatening now to take c3, take e4. Winning a pawn and destroying white structure. That's not so easy to um, to avoid, really. Let's say bishop f3. I still take on c3, take on e4. This is just a very, very nice structure for black. With this double pawns on the c file and... Um, the possibility to set up my pawns on dark squares, blockading white completely. Don't know what he should do. Well, knight b5, I can take b2. Huh? Bishop b2, rook b1, bishop f6, and I just, uh, I'm just uh, a pawn up. Yeah, this is, this is probably the, the best way to, to play. Okay, so just rook takes, I guess. Yeah, I cannot really go back, right? to f8 then or is there yeah probably yeah an interesting moment now i can i can play bishop f6 yeah trying to exchange oh, but it's a very lame move really i'd like to play queen e8 really but uh, Knight b5 is um, Knight b5 is not easy to counter. Hmm. Uh, it's very tricky. Well, queen e8 is really so nice. Queen e8 to intend to play knight f5, knight g6. But this knight b5 move, I wonder if I should really, if I maybe should invest a whole move like a6 to prevent uh, knight b5 so that I can play queen e8. I don't think white has any direct threat or anything. <clears throat> Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Let's go a6. Prevent knight b5. Bishop 
Bishop takes e6, I think it's just not working. No, 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 it is not working. Knight d5, is that a move? Looks looks a bit crazy, but hmm. Ninety five might be crazy, but what what am I actually doing against it? Ninety five, ed five, bishop e seven. It's a bit not great. Ninety five. Hmm. hmm, it's not easy. Knight d five. Maybe I could have played knight takes d five. The queen sec, bishop d eight, knight f four. This uh, was, I think, possible. Really. Okay. Well, never mind. It's not. It's not happening. And now queen here, yeah. The the whole idea of the of it all. And now my idea is to play knight f five or knight g six. Maybe queen g six is also also a possibility. Hmm. Cool. This I didn't see at all. Yeah, well, g6 looks like totally rubbish. But um, <laughs> I can I can move the queen back to d8. That's not great. Hmm. Um, how how bad is it actually? G6, I mean. G6, bishop e7. Hmm. Bishop e7, queen e7, bishop g6, queen d5. Hmm. No, that's bishop e4 at the end. Yeah. G six bishop e seven queen e seven bishop g six hard to believe but hmm. he can play bishop e four really it looks uh, it looks crazy. I want it does not look crazy, that's the wrong word, but somehow I fail to accept that this is uh, really happening. Hmm. Queen d8. Let's, let's play this. Just play it back. Let's see, is he now playing for bishop g4? I just, uh, oh, where was it coming from? Bishop g4, right? Repeating or is he doing something trying to win? Okay, it's not repeating. Uh. 
Hmm. Tja. That's not very nice, not at all. This pin is super annoying. Uh, yeah. Can I play G5? It's uh, probably totally crazy. Huh? But maybe G5, it's possible. Bishop G3, Knight F5. Hmm. Ah, come on, if it's not working, he's got a nice scalp. <laughs> I really need to get rid of this. Bishop g3, knight f5. I don't think that this should be too bad. With this active knight on f5, the bishop on d4. Well. Queen g4 is not possible with rook f4 is winning. I'm not sure if we can play something like knight g5. Knight g5, hg5, bishop g5, bishop f6. Hmm. Don't think that this should win for white. I have still some pieces around the king. It shouldn't be, shouldn't be uh, so terrible. Bishop g3, I think. Don't um, I don't really see a way. No, I don't believe that really. Maybe maybe it's okay. Maybe it is, but it's it, it would be it would surprise me if it's really objectively good. Yeah, let's just briefly consider if there's something else. Well, I don't think so. The main problem is queen g4 is like looking like a normal move. I'll take it, play king h7, and then I'm threatening rook g8 myself, and he's not quickly bringing a rook or some some support. Hmm, maybe. Check. Okay, I'll do that anyway though now here. And um yeah. The thing is like let's say Queen H4, there's knight f5. This immediately stops the attack. And um yeah, what else is there? Yeah, knight f5 is is stopping all all attack. Bishop g6 is a double check, but I can also just I can just take it. Queen h3, there's queen h4. Now there's simply not enough attacking power. Just the the lone queen and uh, and the bishop won't uh, won't um, do the trick. I think after g5 he really just needs to go to g3, play this position. It's probably not not bad for white at all. Unclear, I don't know. Yeah, here white white is forced to trade queens. Um, yeah, here I can go rook g8. Yeah, rook g8. Bishop g4, knight g2. That's a nice little shot.
and um, look here increasing increasing the the pressure <clears throat> yeah, the knight is heading towards d4. Uh, mm -hmm. well, I guess to d4. I'll maybe prepare rook h8. Check. Yeah, winning f4 now. But this was already beyond saving, of course. Check. Check. Checking with the king is always nice. Um, there are maids somewhere. Be like that rook g4 and rook f5 something like that um i don't see a mate check i can give the check here first then white forfeits on time uh, well i don't see a direct mate it's probably uh, the comp doesn't see one as well. Okay, <laughs> it looks a bit like a like a mate coming, but um, probably not. Yeah, we need to to check this 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 position here. I mean, okay, the stuff before you can also analyze, but I'd like to quickly check here when I played knight to c6. Is there a big drawback? Yeah, well, this I thought this d4. And now normal move, bishop d3, rook c1, something like that, maybe, or d5 even, d5 is given by the computer, yeah, white is better, no question, I mean, this was a very creative try by, by me, but hmm, d4 is better for white, yeah, and now I get to get this in, which is helping me, <clears throat> making some use of, of all that, now f5, this is starting to look quite good. And um, here the computer just wants to recapture with the pawn. Hmm. Yeah, probably also because there is this g5 idea, winning this piece, maybe. But look at, let's look at this. Now a6 is actually given by the computer, interesting. Okay. Well, I thought that this is the kind of simple solution. But um, okay, well, a6, rook b1. Queen e8, interesting. And now this, yeah, I didn't see bishop h5 or g6. Uh, really, yeah, you can just do that. And there is there is nothing great happening here for me. Computer gives rook f4 with equal. That's interesting. <laughs> equal. Gives that as equal. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm quite, quite active here, but... Probably not uh, better for me or anything. Okay, I went back because I didn't uh, really couldn't I couldn't make g6 work. Okay, knight e4 instead of um, repeating. Yeah, and g5. Yeah, the computer also just gives bishop g3 and gives black a slight edge. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, this is what I was thinking. Probably getting the g3 bishop. Yeah, it's a very um, unusual position, but uh, there are simply some things that are working in Black's favor. Those two bishops are really excellent. This long diagonal and this is on d4 is just a great piece. And this, there is no really a real mating attack or anything against the king. It's it's open, but you cannot play h4 or the f pawn. It's not not like easy. 
and this is I think just not working Bishop h6 is stronger maybe trapping this but look look at something like that the remaining pieces that I have are, are excellent knight here bishop here knight to h4 queen here this the, the the minor pieces are much better than the rooks at the moment yeah and this was check even easier because the, the, he cannot really bring any of the rooks and um, just the queen and the bishop are not um, a good attacking tandem here i'm just playing knight f5 or rook g8 what uh, according uh, depending on what he's playing at here well after queen's trade there it's uh it's just uh, it's just over yeah probably um around here white can try to look for improvements yeah obviously white can can retreat um, and uh, repeat the position i mean this is of course possible doing something else here Here, here another move. I don't know. This is one computer suggestion. Not a very natural move. It sort of looks a bit strange for this bishop, but I don't have anything. C5 is the recommended response, which is fairly logical. This uh, was hanging, and well, you can retreat to f6, but c5 is just more ambitious. Yeah, I don't know. It's it looks like a playable position for 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 both sides. It's just complicated. Okay, interesting game. Thanks for watching.